What you guys don't use Atlas OS. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Atlas OS is a redesigned Windows for gamers. So it's basically play games with better performance. And you can see here, best of yet, you get loads more FPS. So it's basically saying that Windows is rubbish and you should use Atlas OS. You can see here, Windows is slow, clunky, and unreliable. Atlas OS brings life back into your Windows system. You can see it's designed for better performance latency and also privacy and going down here atlas versus windows you can see processes here have dropped quite a lot and also ram usage has been reduced dramatically and also you can gain a ton of fps according to this website now linus tech tips did a video where he says you don't need a new pc and he was using atlas os and basically being an influencer he's influencing other people to use atlas os which is never a good idea and i will explain why in more detail in this video now you may be wondering what atlas os is well atlas os is actually microsoft's windows 10. it says atlas os is a modified version of windows 10 which removes nearly all of the drawbacks of windows that negatively affect gaming performance right there it's all about gaming and they're going to remove a bunch of security features and privacy concerns that people have. So why Atlas? Well, it says on their website, more private stock windows contains tracking services that collect all your data and then upload it to Microsoft. Whereas Atlas will remove all types of tracking embedded within Windows and implement uh, numerous group policies uh, to minimize data collection. So they've told you right there what Atlas is going to do for the privacy side of things. Now, on the more secure side of things, they're talking about downloading a modified ISO from the Internet is risky. And that is true. But not only it can contain malicious scripts, it also may not have the latest security patches. Well, once you've patched this particular uh, system with uh, Atlas OS, you're not going to have any more security updates because it's completely removed which is absolutely ridiculous to remove a feature that is there to keep uh, the operating system securely patched from uh, vulnerabilities and things like that. So removing the updates is not a very good idea. They've also made a bunch of performance tweaks on here as well. The legal side of things is many custom ISOs you download off the internet. Uh, they've already been tweaked and had the stuff ripped out of it. it violates Microsoft's terms of service. Now they claim they use an AME wizard, which complies with Microsoft's terms of service. And they also say that it is not pre-activated once you uh, download and do this so let's go ahead and take a look at the remove features here there's quite a bit been removed from this system now there's a bunch of key features that they've removed which is not a very good idea as you can see here windows defender windows updates and also telemetry and system restore points and system reset you can't use any of those features malicious removal tool has been removed login and network configuration and a bunch of other stuff has been removed smart screen uh, health check and all that sort of stuff has been removed as well and also background apps and user ac which is user account control has been removed as well now these are all your security features that are completely been ripped out and removed which is not a good thing now the way windows works once you install it is it installs itself and you are running as an administrator on that account now having no user ac which means you're not having any sort of initial warning system where it's going to pop up and say do you sure you want to run this application that is not going to be on the system it's going to be gone which means if you download something malicious you can end up getting infected really easy and also all the smart screen and all of that other protection stuff has been removed you're going to have no windows defender to protect yourself you're going to have no windows updates no security patches none of that stuff it's all been removed now atlas os doesn't actually distribute any sort of iso files what they do is they give you a download link to the ame wizard which you then run and of course this means that you are now responsible for running this on your own computer and basically it will make massive changes to the operating system like removing windows defender and also removing windows updates and a bunch of other security features so you have to bear that in mind now you it does actually do a pretty good job at reducing the processes and also reducing memory usage which is what gamers want but again you're not going to get any windows updates on this system anymore because they've completely removed it now these key components are going to be no windows updates is going to be removing that no windows defender no mrt no smart screen and no malware protection, no UAC. You're going to have no spectral or meltdown that's been removed. And again, it's removed all the telemetry and all of the background apps that are running. 
Now you can see the system specs here are pretty good, but what people need to realize is if you use this as a daily driver and your main system, as soon as you start putting all your software on there, like all your Photoshop and all that sort of stuff, the process count will go up because these programs will use processes and it will start to grow. So you're not going to stay that low unless you just use it as a bare bone system exactly like this. We're not installing anything on it. Now, if you're installing games onto another drive and you're playing those games, then you will still have a low process count. But again, once you start installing stuff, it will start to climb. Now, all of these uh, scripts here, which have been run on the system, have made massive changes to the operating system, which again, will obviously be irreversible in some respects, because once you've removed these key components, it never really goes back that well. Now, Atlas OS is basically Windows. It's not theirs. It's not called Atlas OS. It's called Windows 10. And uh, basically, all they've done is ripped out a load of components out of it. So they're basically de-bloated uh, this version of Windows and left whoever uses it completely vulnerable uh, to the outside world because they've made major changes to the core operating system, which is your security features have all been ripped out, which is not a good idea. Now, unfortunately, in 2023, it's not advisable to use a operating system like Windows without a antivirus program. You do need to have some sort of security program on your system to keep you safe. Now, if you've removed Windows Defender, you're going to have to replace that with another antivirus program, which is then going to add more processes on there to keep you safe. So really, you're defeating the object, really, by getting them processes low by removing Windows Defender and then going off and then installing another antivirus program. So as you can see here, all of this stuff has been taken out, which is not a good idea. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend using a system like this with no uh, antivirus program or no security on here and no Windows updates. It's just absolute ludicrous. I just want to say also that they claim that they don't distribute any ISOs which could have malware or scripts in them, but they're getting you to download their AME uh, wizard, which then obviously unpacks a bunch of scripts and runs a bunch of stuff. So how would you know what is getting installed or being done to the operating system in the background? It's a bit of a contradiction when you're actually saying that we don't distribute ISOs, but you're getting them to download a program, then running it, and of course it's making a bunch of changes in the background without knowing what is actually being changed. You can't see what is being done. And this is also a massive security risk. They also tell you to turn off your antivirus program and then run their program, which obviously is a major security risk as well. This is why I wouldn't advise uh, doing it. So again, when you're using something like this, you are going to be leaving yourself massively vulnerable to the outside world. And if you're going to be using this as your main PC, where you're going to be doing other things online, then I really wouldn't recommend it. It's not good to uh, do anything like this to your PC because you're going to completely remove all of the security features that were designed to keep you safe in a world where uh, malware and ransomware is on the rise. And it's not a very good idea. There's more important things to life than gaming. And again, I've used an operating system like Windows and played games for many, many years, and I've never had to do anything like this to have fun on a PC playing games or even be competitive in a game uh, with a normal standard default Windows. So I don't know where all this nonsense is actually coming from about FPS drops and all this sort of stuff. I don't really see it. I actually see a YouTube channel the other day uh, talking about tweaks, and they had a, a Ryzen 9 and a, a 4090. RTX 4090, and they're talking about tweaking Windows to get more FPS. I mean, how much more FPS do you need? Get better at the game and stop worrying about things like this because it's just stupid. So when you're an influencer, you have to be super careful in what you're actually recommending and what you're saying because some people take it for gospel and they go off and do exactly what you was recommended in your video. So let's go ahead and talk about Windows itself. Windows has never been perfect. But we're stuck with it and we're going to have to use it. Now, even after you've done all of this with your computer and you've now turned off everything that you think that is causing problems with your PC. And yes, you have lowered down the processes. But let me just explain to you that because this is a Microsoft operating system, there could be code in here that you can't disable because it's buried deep in the operating system and it's locked and they can gain access to it and get telemetry from there. And there'll be nothing you can do about it. And because it's not open source, it's locked down by Microsoft. There's not a lot you can do. So just bear that in mind when you're actually 
uh, going to download and install something like this, there's no guarantee that you're going to completely stop telemetry or privacy concerns anyway. Now, the big problem, as you well know, is Windows is uh, very easy to infect, and all you've done is made it even more easier to infect by disabling uh, user account control and disabling all of the Windows updates and disabling all of the security features that are built into Windows to try and protect you. The internet is a minefield and it's full of malware and ransomware. And by disabling all of this stuff, you only need to be going onto a dodgy website or downloading something and clicking on it. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to end up getting infected or end up being hit by ransomware, which could infiltrate your network and encrypt all of your NAS and all of your drives and everything. So you've got to be super careful, especially having no detection on there. It's going to cause a problem. Now, if you're removing Windows Defender and then installing another antivirus program, then what's the point of removing Windows Defender in the first place, especially if you're going to be putting another a security suite on that computer? So that is my uh, view on uh, Atlas OS. Now, a lot of people may want to download and use it. I wouldn't recommend it. I would completely avoid it. Again, there's a lot of people that are probably now downloaded and installing this on their main system. But at the end of the day, what can you do? I mean, you have to be super careful when using something like this. So I really wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.